<laughs> Ready for another cruise? Let's go! Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I thought I'd give you a review of the Sky Ride in St. Thomas, the US Virgin Islands. This is a fantastic excursion that you can do during your cruise and it's a really, really beautiful way to visit this lovely island and take in some of the sights. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button down below as it really helps us out a bunch. Let's jump into the video. Now the Sky Ride here in St. Thomas is this cable car that you can see just here. It's really, really close to the port. And what I love about this particular excursion is that you can actually walk to it no problem. It's a really nice, easy way to explore a little bit of the island, take in some of the sights, and it's a really lovely excursion to consider during your cruise visit here. We were on the Carnival Celebration. We walked along the little dock area here, past all these wonderful ships, and then we ended up going through the shopping center and the various different shops and markets before heading over to the Sky Ride. On average, it takes around a 12 minute walk. Obviously, that might be a little bit longer depending on your party size. But as you can see from the map here, it's really, really nice and straightforward. You just have to be following it along there to the Sky Ride. As you take in the walk towards the Sky Ride, you have all these lovely little shops, markets and restaurants. The locals are really friendly here. It gives you a chance to explore a little bit of the culture and learn about the area and obviously pick up some souvenirs for home as well. Now when you get to the location of the Sky Ride, there is a little ticket booth there. You've got two options here for the Sky Ride here in St. Thomas. You can either buy your tickets through the cruise line prior to coming here, or you can get them at the window there. They're around $25 for an adult and $17 for a child. There's more information on the website as well here where you can find out about the schedule, check whether it's running. Be sure to check this out prior to your visit to make sure that it's not gonna be closed. Generally it operates all year round, but as you can see here, it does give a few information about any closing dates issues or problems it really is a beautiful location we definitely recommend booking this prior to visiting to not be disappointed Once you have your ticket, it's time to do the short walk up the ramp and a couple of steps towards the Sky Ride waiting area. Here there is a little seating area where you can sit down and wait for the next set of vehicles to come down. Once they do, the staff members will load you into them, secure you and then away you go. The journey to the top of the hill takes around seven minutes and as you can see from the footage here you really do get some fabulous views on the way up and on the way down as well in the little pods here they usually seat around six to seven people but you get a lovely view here and a nice breeze and it really, really starts to build up that excitement as you make your way to the top towards the view that you're going to be greeted with in just a moment After making your way off the cable car, you're greeted with a sneak peek of the wonderful view that lays ahead of you. Just a few more steps down to the main area here at Paradise Point, the Sky Ride in St. Thomas, and you are greeted with an absolutely stunning view. This is perhaps one of the best views I've ever seen on any cruise, excursion, or experience I've had. It really was breathtaking. As you can see here, we've got two ships in port, our Carnival Celebration and the Carnival Conquest, both two lovely ships here, and you're just greeted with this absolutely special spectacular view here of the port and the island on a whole a beautiful day here as well rain or shine you know you're going to get a fantastic view but the weather this particular day was absolutely stunning you can see all the people down below having fun started taking some of the island and its experiences it really really is a special place to visit also up here you've got a nice little restaurant area we sat and had a couple of drinks here very reasonable prices for both food and drink definitely worth sitting down having a nice cold beer and taking in that wonderful view
Another thing I loved about up here is they also had a couple of little kiddie games as well. So if you've got little ones, there's something for them to enjoy as well. We particularly loved the noughts and crosses here. Oliver could sit and play this for hours, but he really enjoyed that. Nice little bonus for the kids there. The main attraction, however, up here is the view. Obviously a variety of different spots that you can take this in and a couple of different viewing platforms as well, but you will never get tired of seeing that view there. Be sure to allow yourself ample time to head back down to the bottom of the hill. Again, it's around a seven minute journey down to the bottom. You may have a slightly longer wait depending on how busy it is. However, the cable cars do run on a regular basis, but be sure to give yourself ample time to get back to your ship. We've been fortunate enough to do a few different excursions now on our cruises, but this was perhaps one of our favourite. The simplicity of it, just doing a short walk through some of the local area and starting to experience that, and then a very quick cable car up to the top here for this absolutely stunning view. We really, really enjoyed this excursion. On the cruise line, it was a slightly discounted ticket as well, so we found it really good value for money. It's a great way to see some of the island, and we really, really enjoyed it. Of course, if you have any questions about this particular excursion, please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to as soon as I possibly can. The link for the um, tickets as well and the website for any more information will be in the description for you as well. If this video has helped you out a lot I would appreciate a like on it and consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Many thanks for watching we will see you in the next one.